Hello there, welcome to a new episode. On today's, we have a 4v4 on Shoreline. I've got myself, Lucky Ashman, RVA, and Kick facing off against Night Raven, Cal, Frost, and Attack or Die. So, having a look at the map, tons and tons and tons of fish. And tons of bad things waiting to kill your boats as well. Good times. But yeah, lots and lots of fish. There's plenty. I don't think anyone will uh, run out of fish anytime soon. There's some nerfs as well. They can be put into the animal nurseries. And there's some berries as well that you can sort of fall back on. Not really any lure, I don't think. But there are uh, EOPs and stuff. And, and Gundarks and Tusk. Like, this is a bad spot. So I'm going to speed it up so we can get through the early game and see what's going on. I thought Lucky Ashman was trying to capture them with an there. So plenty of nerfs and you can rally it in the berries. I'm kind of fortunate because you can pretty much almost rally from the command centre to the the berries for a little bit, keep the, the work of production going, and then hop into a uh, quick shipyard, I think. Lucky Ashman looks like he's uh, spent all his carbon on the food processor. He could have just rallied as well, which would have been good. Get in the nursery. And it seems that Cal has found his, uh, his nerfs here, and Wonderfully BM fashion, stealing them. Shot two of them. Hidden two. And this is just forced Lucky Ashman to. These workers be a bit idle for a long time. He's got a nursery now, but he's missing, what, four more nerfs? So he's on the four instead of eight. And on the other side of things, we've got a shipyard going down for RVA. Kind of a short distance between Kick here and Night Raven. Um, myself in attack. Lucky Ashman, bastard shot nerf. Not happy about it. I like our spot here for walling. As you can see, it, it looks pretty easy. Almost too, it's almost too easy. I don't know why there's two food processors. I don't think this is necessary. Could uh, get the shore fish for one of those. The shore fish are faster. What's he got in this command center? Not working. Cal shot for nerf. Where is he? Looks like Lucky Ashman just wants to go and hunt him down. So Cal will be in the pocket. It's going to go for Mounties here. Controversial. It's looking a bit more normal on the other side of their team. Frost building the farms. Troop centre for attack here. Whereas we're building a second shipyard. Pump out those boats as quick as possible. RV, get some shore fish as well. I was starting to fish a little bit here. Now we spy this, so we're trying to delay it a little bit. Because we need to get our wall down. Otherwise, we'll have a bad time. Trip center, power core going down here for Stuart. Uh, kick. Not got the power core as of yet. Lucky Ashwin as well. A troop center and a power core. Don't know if he's going to make mounties. These are the first mounties hitting RVA now. Whereas on the other side, we're getting mounties as well. It's a tricky one for RVA because his uh, power core is over here. But I don't think Cal maybe knows because if he knew, this is probably going to die. We managed to get a troop centre down with all the extra carbon we've got. 
pump out some uh, troopers, so we're fine. And uh, we'll just finish up the wall. Where's these mounties are going to run to Looking Ashman? Let's see. We sent out two mounties, which are just passing Cal in the middle of the map now. A couple of troopers out now. They're exposed though, so this one's definitely going to die. This one might, unless you can repair it. It's a bit uh, overpowered, this. When you're getting mounted, being able to repair your troopers. It's honestly huge for stopping yourself, uh, well, stopping it snowballing out of control. I'm going to hunt down this uh, scout. Goodbye. So Lucky Ashman mounting uh, Cal here. He's not really his opposing pocket, because his opposing pocket would be Frost. And Frost has no troop centers. Could have done a lot of damage to Frost, I think. But uh, I think he's uh, seeing red. Enraged about the nerfs being shot. So things are looking fairly stable now for RVA because he's got the troops out. He's been knocked off his Nova. A lot, a lot of troops, well, well, Mounties in his base, but if Cal were T2 and got these upgraded, I think they would be a, a huge menace. They are still just normal Mounties. At the same time, it looks like there's some Mounties that have come out from Stuart as well. It's so hard to follow everything that's happening here. So much on our side now that we've got the wall down. You can see attack rallying here, but you can't do anything. It's it's just like the most beautiful carbon. You can't even stand behind it. Not sure what happened with Cal's mountains. Oh, he's he's taking the trade. That's not good. They're not going to win that. The troopers just focused them down so quickly. So Stuart losing his mounties as well. Going to Orr on his side, a bit of a trade here from Kick and Stuart. Okay, not really got much troopers out though. He's looking a bit dirt poor on his eco. Maybe more worried about getting to T3. The turret here from attack, but he's, he's not built it right up against the carbon. Not sure why. We could have got it right up here. It's a great idea because there's only like two spots for me, right? It would be even better if he built another one here. Then we'd be able to mine it. It's crazy to look at the, like the landmass that like this team's got, and then our teams that I got. Especially me, I've got like no land here. Got great walling though, but like no land. The more of these tiny trades between Kick and Stuart. Still bounties killing things in RV's base. Shooting a boat. Interesting. So it looks like there's some anti air troopers here. I think maybe we'll go for a bomber as soon as we attack up. Lucky Ashman is now being mounted by Cal. It's so hard to actually see this on the mini-map. They almost blend in with the terrain. I wonder how long this has been going on for. Got three troop centers. It's my pocket. Concerning. I still T1. Oh, oh dear. It would be so good if two of these were just like, if, if this was just three shipyards and one troop centre. And he did a bit of mounting and then he T3'd. So we're off to T3 now. We've got the Strike Max building. There's a Geo flying over here. Turrets being placed from uh, Stuart now as well. You can see one already up on this hill. Not really policing too much, but this one will be a bit better. The Geos are absolutely harsh just now. And his pocket is. Uh, not really going to have anything to help him with. As he's built all this, this, this tech up here, his confederacy, he's uh, not actually geoing himself. 
He's only really got any air troopers. So kick can only lose a lot, a lot of workers here. And three geos as well. And this isn't even the pocket on his side. This is frost all the way over here. I don't know if they maybe communicated that kick is absolutely vulnerable right now, but so many workers gone down. He's got some troopers out, but harsh. So. Since we've T3 against the person that's rushing us, we're going for the sort of counter attack now with the strike next. Try to get some damage in. Kill a worker or two. Kick finally getting rid of these uh, geos from his base, it would seem. There's still Mounties running around Lucky Ashman's base. He's got three troop centers and he can't deal with us. Some grenadiers out here. Attack managing to finish this wall, maybe. Slow me down there a bit. Another turret being placed. Some troops coming in now. Fortunately, walking past the uh, workers rather than killing like three of them now. So that's a lucky break for kick. He is running out of places where he can mine carbon from. That's a very good spot though. Oh! Missed this, we drop in the pummels. The strike max. That farm instant sniped. There's an MD here from Frost though. Doing a good job helping attack out. So we snipe the command center in there. Which is pretty bad for him because he only has one. Some of the troopers here, we've got to hunt down some of the anti air and stuff. Kite this army. To kick absolutely getting murdered. RVA is a little bit too preoccupied building his uh, espionage network. With these sensor bars everywhere. Try to get the power core here, but there is Mounties out. So maybe going to have to ease up on the aggression there against the tank, the Mounties. Because they'll uh, kill the pummels really quickly. So kick finally uh, killing off these troops in his base. A lot of strike mechs here for our view, but not really out in the map as such. Seems to have sent troopers to go and help out Lucky Ashman. I think we would try to kill this power core here. Well, you can click it actually. Or maybe you can't click on an attack command though. Unless you do the control thing. Yeah, we tried to get that power core, but it was right behind the fort. We couldn't click it. There's mech destroyers out. There's actually a ton of mech destroyers out from Frost, he's making even more. Two mech factories just pumping them out. Some really weird wall being built here by Stuart. Looks like he's clocked on that uh, Kick's pockets asleep. Maybe you can actually get a wall and wall him out as well before he actually comes over and helps him. <laughs> These trips actually. Uh, Killing off a strike mech here. Yeah. Gonna lose now. Dropping the pummel to try and clear up the turret here, but you can see Frost's mech destroyers now. Have, uh, it's almost like we've enraged this side. As we were trying to get some more command centers down and then maybe start pushing more artillery and stuff, he's uh, causing us issues. Making Mounties to try and clear them up. A 
The streak mech's now moving out on the map for our view. Strikes from Frost now as well. A Geo. A lot of different units for me to have to deal with here. Strikes passing on the map. Again, can't really see when there's stuff happening here. In uh, Lucky Ashman's base. Artillery getting killed. The Geo's really awkward to deal with just now. Fighters as well. It's like just tons of different units. We're repairing our mechs. So they strike now. It's not going for Stuart as such, they're going off for Raid Cal now. I'm not really getting any help from my pocket. I think a lot of idle workers here just now because of this. So it looks like those workers are killed off on the Nova here, but there are some mech destroyers out for Cal to push uh, RV away. So he'll go off to Stuart now, who looks pretty undefended. He's got two mech factories, but I think he's got three air bases. He's got a crazy amount of buildings he's built. Where he's only got two command centers. And he's just losing so many workers. He's not even microing these, he's not paying attention. What's going down? There's even more uh, units here. Mech destroyers from attack now as well. I think we need to get another two mech factories. And maybe with three or so we can win this. Like, like half my eco is uh, not mining. Sad times. So there's still no mech destroyers out here for Stuart. Maybe he can't afford them since he's built all that stuff. He just sort of tunneled on Killing Kick. It looks like he's pummel dropped him and killed his command center. Tons of nonsense going on. There's a strike mech from Lucky Ashman finally running out on the map. A bit late for that. So Kick definitely not having a good time here. Nor am I. It looks like we can maybe clean this up for now. Finally get these workers back to work. And place some farms down because we're having all our boats killed and it's just so awkward. So much to do. Hopefully we'll remember to move these anti-air boats. Kick replacing his command centre now with a food processor. Building the new one over here. There's still T2 as well. Oh, a mech destroyer. Thank you, Lucky. These strike mechs still running around and Stuart's not built anything to do with them. This is one mech destroyer. The turret finally going down. Forward being placed now for Frost. So they're really going to ramp up the pressure on this side. Just totally forgot about these, I guess. Bad play. These boats are going to get shot now as well. Not sure what Kel's plans are here. Not looking like he's got a, a very strong eco, to be honest. Got like three mech factories, but just two command centers. Frost is definitely looking the, the best on their team just now. The better boom. We're starting to get the artillery count up higher now. Pummel's landing here from RV, cleaning up these turrets that are encircling Kickstart's base.
got this nice little hill to sit on. But there is this cliff that's just separating the two sides of my sort of territory, which is not great. See, there's a lot of troop centers down here for Frost. Kick, 39 minutes getting to D3. Good times. What's Lucky up to? Not too much. Some grenadiers here. These pummels killing these houses and turrets. Slight bit of downtime here. Oh no, the push we're doing. Doesn't feel like there's too much raiding happening on the map anymore. The Mounties try to get in here and uh, kill off some units, but some troops arrive from Lucky Ashman and a strike mech. You see the uh, troopers being rallied now from Frost. It's going to be really hard for us to deal with because we need all this area. That's where we've got. Place farms and stuff. Fortress going down. Should go down in time because we're kind of just sitting in the shield. Try to fix our eco while we build up the units. So it looks like Pummel Drop heading over here. Gonna land on the forward, maybe. Being chased by uh, Night Raven's air, though. Which is not great. We got a lot of strike max out, though. We cleaned up those troopers. So definitely postpone that push from Frost here. Buy us a lot of time. Did fire out these mounties though that are gonna kill these off. And we can move our strike mechs back to our artillery because we know that attack's been building mounties. We don't want to uh, have them killed by the mounties there. This is an awful lot of workers on this Nova pile. Still being raided relentlessly by Stuart here. Look at the, the idle farms and stuff. It's dirt poor. Managed to throw down a bunch of command centers though. So he can at least hide his workers. Look at the one turret. Well, two turrets that don't really cover everything though. Gonna get a fort up here so that we can hold this territory. Goes up. Killing off the workers, trying to build the shield generator. Don't want them sitting there in the shields. Just trying to buy time, hoping we'll get some help. Is where TV one here? Sure, doing a lot of sitting around here with this uh, diverse empire army he's got. I feel they could absolutely be bullying Kick a bit more. But Kick's actually completely walled himself in, is he? Oh, he has. Looks like it. Tons of units here, holding as best we can. Just finally hitting T4 ourselves now. Strike makes it landed in here with transport. Coming 
trying to make a fort. I don't think he's got a mech factory. The Mounty is not doing too well against this. No troopers neither. Let's see a pummel drop here from an attack. We'll kill this uh, nursery. Pummel drop from RVA, rather. More strike mechs being ferried over here. Shield and cannon before it's so annoying. It took a while for us to break through that, I think. Command center gonna be going down here for attack. Don't really have anything here just now. I don't know if he's even got any mounties at the moment. Had two in his fort, he's sending them down there. These are heavy pummels though. Probably kill this command center. See the workers try to bash them down. At the same time, we're now being uh, griefed by the native life to the sea. And Mech Destroyer is now pushing from RVA here. And these cannons are super annoying for us to be dealing with. And this one as well, the tree line. Can't really stop this fort going down. Pushing up with artillery. I think it's getting shot by the cannon. The fort's going to do a lot of damage to it as well. Some fast fighters from here. Lucky Ashman building a fort on this side, which I don't understand because I do need help here. This side's looking okay. I would say. Well, RV just loses uh, his push of mech destroyers there. The fort does go up in slow cal's push, I guess. The more uh, pummels being planned. But we've lost our fort and now all these units are sort of flooding in. And we've got so little land here that it's like it's instantly into our worker lines. And most of our army's over here. And we've got mounties to contest. Don't really want to have my strike mechs over here. I think in hindsight we probably needed to go troopers as well. But again, what a struggle. Like I've been fighting all since T3 really. I've been fighting these two. Shield going up here on this side with Cal's uh, mech destroyers. One planned for RVA here as his own mech destroyers arrive. I'm not sure where his pummels have gone off to. Let's run some fighters over here, try and kill some of these troopers. I think they've got our army across. But we are going to be open to attack here now though. Try to boom back into the game. Lots of mech factories. It's like that earlier instance of not having a mech factory. He swore to himself that he would never not not have a mech factory. Five of them placed down. Needing a new shield. Landed on the uh, the forward here again. Slow the push. Some good mounties here though, mech destroyers. Killing a lot of our expensive units. I had to go and build uh, fighters. I think mainly to uh, kill troopers and kill cannons and stuff because we're tr struggling with cannons and then these mounties have come onto this side now as well. Just so much pressure. Not too much units. Um, it's like a surprisingly little amount from Cal over here. Because once again he seems to be just rallying from his own base all the time. He never seems to make a forward 
to reinforce. No shield for our base, he doesn't want to take the trade right now. Kekai has got some mounties now, so they they have something substantial on the ground here. That's just sniping cannons like we talked about, like what's needed to be done. Big hill here that maybe want to take. I don't want them to take it. Lucky Ashman telling me what to do while not doing anything to help me. I told them how about you get involved. What are these? Some units on the ground. Good help. Alright, nice shield down for our RV. It's looking to maybe lose the fort here though. Not too much from Night Raven. The fighters here should kill off the Mounties. And there's like there's no like AOE damage from the other side. There's no artillery or anything. So as long as they stay fighting in the shield, they should win that trade. Push here from attack, pushing into us. Struggling a little bit here. Still losing his uh, power core. Cal and uh, Stuart getting pushed back a bit now, I think, just from having no uh, artillery or anything like that. No assault mechs. Are they starting to approach, I think, maybe pop limit? Get a good, strong army on the board here. Fighters here from attack. Having to build like so many different units. Got no resources sort of uh, past this line, the line that I'm fighting over, really. Which is not good. We're going to run out of money. Asking for a spaceport, you can uh, realize why not wanting to do it on my side because it's uh, looking too grim here. And the idols starting to pile up. Fit to go and build a command center here and then pull our air all around and attacks, just sending fighters here and killing off workers. But we need this carbon. Frost now pushing from uh, attack side. Are they slowly marching through here? Because they seem very uncoordinated, and Carl's not really built anything but mech throwers. And some mounties. It's not a good unit comp. Not with the fighters out on the board. Kick getting some mech throwers out now as well. He's looking a lot healthier. Like earlier. Maybe we start trying to kill the, uh, the forest here so we can move our artillery across, but we've got all these mountains we have to put air across now. And when our air comes across, his air comes and kills off our workers here. And then the rest of our workers are trying to mine this carbon and stuff, and it's just it's it's so horrible. Let me just check something here. So, Lucky Ashman's got seven mechs, three ships, one trooper, and three turrets in an hour and five minutes. That's my pocket. Not good. Tell the team that uh, this is a bit of a lost cause now. Asking around uh, how are things on the other side of the map. The 
decide whether I'm quitting or I'm going to stall this out. Because I've just ran out of money, basically. I've run out of money and space. But things are looking good on the other side of the map. So we're going to build this fort. We're going to sit here as long as we can and stall things out. Make sure these two are just committed to killing me rather than helping them on this side. So by the time that they do sort of kill me, this side's sort of broken through. And it'll just be, you know, like 2v2. There's a few mechs arriving from uh, Lucky here. But it's, uh, it's too late. This army looking good with the uh, the max stretch from Kicker Ivan now with the full upgrades, tanky boys. They are sort of getting flanked here though, this is not good. They're, they're flanking the flankers but uh, these mounties are going to cause a lot of trouble. Fighters coming over here to desperately help out. There's a good little pocket here though I think where they can sort of channel these mounties into and kill them off. And Cal's pulled back as well and then just lost them all to the, the volleys of the artillery. Air turret up here, fighters and stuff on top of us. Just want to sit with our uh, 12 range artillery, stall things out. So, Cal's army routed. Team, let me know that they've uh, they're winning their side. Trying to trying to hold. It's like no, like big Nova units from Carl this game. What are you doing? Just, just make strike backs kick. Big connection there. Right. Marching into uh, Stuart's base now. Nothing there. And Cal's just sort of sitting here on this part of the map. Building lots of turrets, it looks like. Anti air turrets. So we've got an air cruiser now. With the artillery. And an air turret. And we're going to start walling off the. Uh, crossing here and we've uh, migrated to the safe lands over here on this side as well. Desperate AC here has been sniped with the fighters. Lots and lots of mounties being made. We're gonna wipe out my uh, artillery. Some money arriving here from RVA. Lucky try to get these units across, but it's just it's too late. We're just gonna wall it. I've accepted that I'm gonna die soon. So Cal finally over here. It's one of these anti air mobiles. But like this whole unit comp is just it's just second best to this in everywhere. It doesn't deal with any of the problems elegantly. And it's just, they're just going to die. Especially when the shield generator is going to go up now as well. The mounties are all in line formation, taking extra hits. So mounties from Frost though, that'll definitely help. But then look at these mech destroyers running backwards rather than helping out here and shooting at them. Like, what are they doing? 
That was like the best moment for him to like wipe this a bit. And now they're just running in like stacked up, taking extra shots from artillery. And now running away at anti airmobile speed. Pain. It looks like we've had our uh, artillery and shield broken down now. Just hit the air cruiser. It's sort of stopped me doing my uh, walling here. I've had to make a transport, bring the work over. Got some fighters that I've been hiding to finish this. The shield walls. We just wait for this side to break. Because we are very dead. But there's hope. Two command centers going down here. I don't think like there's too much here from uh, Stuart. Again, more mounties and more mech. Like this, no, not the way. If he had been trading and he had built assault mechs, they'd be having a horrible time. Like I think they, that would have to force kick to make Sif masters probably. This is just terrible. And they're always fighting in shields and stuff as well. Some fighters here killing off the trade five times. Making a Jedi Temple, we're gonna take the Holocron with us across. Leave nothing behind. So Mounties running in here, the Metstrows again, 12 years too late, and just look at them bugging out and just such a bad solution to the problem of this army comp. Calling GG now. That should really be it because he was uh, their hope on that side. But Frost Attack have not quite really gotten anything together on this side to help out either. So I think that would really be it. Yep. Everyone else resigning now. And that'll be about the end of the game. There's the, uh, the Holocron heist. We're gonna take it and get this one as well. And we're like, yeah, we have a we have Nova income now, boys. Poverty mode won't last forever. So Attack and Frost probably just taking it in like, oh, well, great, we killed Liam on this side, but they've just died. Kicking out, firing out some units. And these assault mechs are going to be very well protected, but we've got all the bodies in front of them. And then with all the upgrades they get, it'll be great. Not really much for them to stop that army. The shield walls are uh, looking good. And that'll be the end of the game. So I hope we can all learn something from this, that even if you get absolutely pumped, um, there's things you can do to help out your team. Like maximum stalling, rather than just quitting like some people do. And what I'll do is I'll go and I'll have a look at the, the old achievement screen, because everyone seems to love that. So RVA and Cal getting the, the MVP awards there, those kills. RVA having the biggest eco there. 89% of the map explored with the sensor boils. Highest mark account now. Frost with the, uh, the holocrons though. Big nobus. And here's the timeline for anyone that gives a shit about that.
But as always, if you look in the description there, you will see a link to Vubly, which you can see here in the background, which is where you can play the game online and get desktop resolution. Um, there'll be a link to our GBG Discord community, which is just for people setting up games and just uh, staying active outside of being connected to Vubly. And as always, give the video a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.